and he had five Jeeps and uh, so I just got it and it's been great no problem since but today it had another story what happened I went up for a chiropractor appointment went to Dunkin Donuts and then the temperature went up and I pulled over in a parking lot let it cool off check the antifreeze plenty of antifreeze checked underneath you could see that it was leaking so after it cooled off started up it seemed fine and then I started headed home and it went right up again so I pulled over and then of course everybody's driving really fast and then I pulled over more so I was on the grass and called you guys AAA and the police officer came by and checked on me state cop make sure everything was all right and uh and now we're on our way. How did you feel out there? Did you feel safe standing on the side of the highway or? No, that's why I went up the hill. Because it was, they, they just, all the trucks, all the cars, they're passing. And I just know if they hit the, my car, then I could either get hit by my car or their car. So that's why I went up way up on the hill. I figured that was at least safer. We've been in business since 1991. Uh, I've been working here since 2006 when we got back to my Iraq. And the move over law affects any towing industry or any roadside company, construction work, or anyone that works on the roadside because people are slowed down and moving over. They're too busy talking on their phones, texting, um, driving at high rates of speed, uh, eating food while they're driving, any type of distraction causing drivers to get hit. The towing industry has seemed to have had a rise in drivers getting hit. We had one of our drivers get hit, um, was it three years ago now, Terry? Three years ago we had one of our drivers get hit. Uh, the only thing that saved him from going off a hundred foot drop off the side of the highway was the vehicle he was loading was already on his deck. The car hit him, he hit into the vehicle he was loading and it threw him back in the middle of the roadway instead of over the embankment down the train tracks. He was unable to come back to work. His body will never be the same. He broke numerous bones. He has a, a colonoscopy bag on the side of him. We can never get rid of that. On his way to the hospital, from what I understand, he had passed away three times. He had to revive, revive him each time. And uh, I believe he had five or six kids, and his life's never going to be the same. So when you're out there, uh, and the vehicles are actually coming close to the tow truck, what does it feel like? What do you think? How are you going to make it home tonight? <laughs> you know, you're out there, the vehicles come so close sometimes that the tow truck's rocking, the vehicle loads rocking. Um, and it's just dangerous, it's scary. We've had uh, numerous guys, numerous incidences with close calls. We had a guy a few years prior to the guy getting hit, he was in the breakdown lane on Route 3. And and the whole truck was in the breakdown lane about four inches well, into the white line, not into the travel lanes. And the car veered over just enough to take out its whole rear end, spun the whole truck around, ripped the rear end out, ripped the lights off, twisted the deck, um, showered the guy that was doing the flat tire on the car in front of him with glass in both vehicles, ripped both passenger side doors off the Toyota pickup truck that hit him. Out there. Yeah, I was doing some research uh, before I came here, and they say an average of 63 tow truck drivers die a year from the move over law. Um, you know, an average, obviously, it could be more, some years less, others. If somebody you know, was driving down the highway right now, and you could jump in their car before they got to your tow truck, what would you tell them about moving over? Um, the failure to move over, failure to slow down, you can take someone's brother, sister, wife, father away from them forever. Um, their impatience to rush to get to where they're going may not affect their life besides taking life, but dramatically affects the life of the person that they're hitting in that family and makes them feel like. The statistics, 63 drivers a year, um, one every six days, wherever you go, you get a lot of different readings. If you look at technology nowadays, it's going up and up. Uh, we just had another tow truck driver get hit the other day and killed. Um, the fatalities are one thing, the life-changing altercations are another. You may have 63 deaths in the year, but you may have 300 people getting hit, that may never work again. All you're hearing about is a death. You're not listening to the guy that 
Gut Rare Ren did well. He was well known to fall into his record, had both his legs chopped off at the kneecaps or the waist. And that happened four months ago, I think. You watch shows like Highway Through Hell, people think that a lot of that stuff's um, poor TV. A lot, of, a lot of it is, but the danger of it, same thing that, that happened there. One guy lost one of his legs, got amputated right off. Got Rick uh, got rear ended, pushed him into the wheel lift, took his leg off. That's not fake. That, that stuff happens, and it happens more often. People really know about it. And not necessarily that amputation, but they're getting hit. The life changing incidents. I love it. I couldn't ask for any uh, any better job. Freedom of being on the road, helping out people when they're in distress. You know, I, I've always loved helping people, and this is a way I can give back. Now, what's your uh, opinion on the move over law? I think it needs to be enforced a lot more. Too many people, you know, every day you're turning on the news and going on social media. People, you know, all of our drivers are getting hit and killed. We lost a good guy this year from Cody's. That the lady, you know, basically just walked away with no charges because of some law pool in the system. You know, and people, you know, I feel bad for the family because every day they wake up and he ain't never coming back. And the lady's going on her regular business like nothing ever happened. That's not how it should be. Turn left onto south.